This week, we are very, very, very honored to have the guys from Spine Ticks. We got Sith Lordly and Azorus Tiger here today. And it's amazing because Seth has been here and Chris literally <laughs> just jumped on. How's it going, guys? What's up? What's up? Right, Eric, guys. you just made it, bro. Man. <laughs> Welcome to the backstage, but Eric's literally like, <laughs> yeah. Yo, fellas, so, uh, thanks so much for having us. Not only am I entertained back here, but I'm informed, man. You, that The news is great. We try. We try. We try yeah. to do a little something here. But that was great. you guys all need to be following Spine Ticks. Their link is below because they put on weekly shows and they are entertaining and informative as well. So don't sell yourself short, guys, okay? <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And shout out to the chat. I see a lot of our homies in there and, of course, ladies yeah. and lordly. So we appreciate you all coming out to support. We appreciate it, too. Really, really appreciate it. That's what makes this show fun, guys, talking about the things that we love. And speaking about the things that we love, we're going to do an all-in here. And normally we have one person. This is the first time we're going to have two guests on. So we're going to go one at a time with you guys. And we're going to we're going to bring you guys up to be able to show your goods, basically. So Sounds let's good. start off uh, with the Silver Age books. Chris, we're going to start off with you. You do not have it in hand. But let's have you discuss. Tell us what you're, what you're, what you're all in on for your Silver Age. Oh, okay. Uh, Eric, by the way, just uh, my Silver Age. My bad. Um, my no, bad. No worries. No worries. <laughs> uh, my Silver Age is actually uh, X Men One. So uh, we don't we don't have that one just yet. That's actually one I'm working on right now. So that's my uh, what I call it is building the pot, so that way I can get you know something much greater. So. Uh, Ah, path to a key. So that's what I've been working on, you know, just, um, you know, selling little books here and there, trying to get, uh, you know, the moderns that, you know, people want, get them uh, slabbed and everything, and get them ready for sale, and start building a pot more and more and more. So uh, then um, that's what I'm working towards, X-Men number one. So we're that's looking a, at next year on that. That's a good one to have, man. That is, that is, that is one to go all in on because that is, not only is that going to be a you know, it's it's a sought after comic book. It's gonna be even more sought after once they make their way to the MCU. Most definitely, yeah. And that's super exciting. And you got you definitely need to let us all know how close you are to getting that. Oh um, yeah, we will. All right. we will. Yeah, yeah. Next up, I was. I, I say too. This this is a book that you know you would think being such a Silver Age blue chip. I mean that there. What else? What else can propel this book? But I don't think people really understand the the weight of seeing the X-Men in the MCU and what it can do with a book that's already worked so much. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to put it out of, out of a lot of people's reach. So that's why um, I almost had it this year. Uh, but instead, instead I landed with uh, my 181 right here. Well, so, you know, oh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, um, You're not so losing I, sleep. I had to, I had to, you know, transition and um, you know, put that on the next thing on the block. So you poor soul. All right, we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna move, gosh, we're gonna move on to uh, to Sith Lordly here, and he's gonna tell us what his Silver Age all in is. Well, you know, I wanted to grab something from the collection, right? So it was very personal, and uh, I recently acquired this uh, X Men Four, and I always wanted this book for this cover, uh, not to mention all the first appearances it's got. Um, so what I did, I'm a hustler like Eric. Uh, I, I benefited from the uh, the stock market and all the oil stocks recently. And I took some money off the table and I took that and I translated that into this book. And this is a book that, you know, uh, Lady Sith and I would go to WonderCon and I'd see it at the tables. And I'd be like, ah, not this year, but this year was my year. Uh, right. So, you know, it, it was between this and FF48 in my collection, but just look at that cover. It's amazing. So awesome. happy to have it. We need to bring it yeah. up again. Let's see that. Here we go. Yeah. Gosh, you guys, I, I feel so sorry for you guys. I really <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. I, Chris. I love the X-Men stuff here, man. I really do. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, for me, I've been going after um, uh, anything Galactus and Silver Surfer really, yeah. really because of, of that. But yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, if, if you didn't already look at X-Men books like this, like a year or two or three years ago, like mm -hmm. I really feel that it, this is time because you yeah. know uh, it, it's it's going to get crazy here in the next year or two. 
Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Again, I'm, I'm just, you got, I, I'm going to be honest here. You guys just started <laughs> out with a bang. I, I know Eric, you don't have X-Men one yet. You don't have it yet. No, he'll, he'll get it. You're like, Oh, I just got this. Yeah. So, but so here we go, Eric, this is going to be your, your modern, your book or, or, or bronze. So let's, uh, what, what do you got? Um, let's see. So bronze, which, which one do you all want? Bronze or modern? Let's, uh, let's go, let's go bronze first. Sorry. Okay. So bronze actually did pull one from the collection. So, uh, giant size X-Men number one. Um, this one was actually, I lucked up with this one. I uh, found a great deal on eBay. Um, and it was like one of my big purchases from eBay. Uh, I actually found it at a 3.5. And as I got it immediately, I went, uh, sent it to my guy, got it clean, pressed, uh, and then it re -slapped. And then I actually uh, was able to catch my guy in time, and Chris Claremont was still at CGC doing autographs. So he sent everything for me to get the autograph, and I got the grade bump to a 4.0 on that one. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we hopeful over here, man. <laughs> Listen, we should have added up the total values here. Before, like after, maybe <laughs> yeah, later. I was about to pull some stuff up on my phone. Like, yeah, like seriously, <laughs> I want, this yeah. is going to be the most, uh, this is the most expensive all in we've ever seen. All right, uh, <laughs> next up, what do you, what do you, what do you got, um, Sith? What do you got, Sith Lorley? What do you got uh, for your, your bronze or your modern? All right, well, for my bronze, it was a tie with what Eric just showed, but. Uh, I had to be showing this Hulk 181, which I picked up at WonderCon uh, recently. Uh, I've had this book maybe six times. And I got to tell you, uh, just to move things along, but the previous version of this book that I had, I bought it raw. And I bought it off eBay from a local seller so I could pick it up. Cleaned and pressed it, sent it in, came back restored, married Ooh. cover. Someone had put wow. a same era cover on it. So, you know, purple label and everything. I couldn't live with that. So this is my replacement issue. Um, in fact, uh, you know, TiVo, Lords of the Long Box, he and I uh, negotiated this deal from uh, Reese's Rare Comics at WonderCon, and I came home with this book. So happy to have this book. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good story. I, I like that. I'm glad that the, the blue came home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. The purple packing. Yeah, Steve, again, I feel so bad for you. I'm going to keep saying <laughs> We're just going to roll around on the books after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Eric, what do you got for your modern book that you are all in on? All right, so my modern is uh, All In, New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. This actually goes back to my childhood, man. I, um, this was one of my original favorite books, characters. So I knew Deadpool when he was just a straight up assassin before, you know, we got uh, all the comedy and everything we have now. But I mean, I used to uh, draw the characters. I used to read the books. So this isn't my original copy from my uh, childhood PC, but I actually did have it. And when I um, got back into the game, I sent it to get clean, pressed and slabbed and it came back at a 6.0. So, uh, you know, I couldn't be mad. You know, it was love. Uh, it was one of my favorite books. So then I was able to um, come across uh, this one, uh, 9.4. And uh, I'm still working towards uh, my 9.8 to have for the PC. But uh, this is where we're at right now. And um, I'm actually considering uh, cracking this one and getting it clean, press, and reslab. So I had to keep y'all up to date and let you know how it all turns out. Definitely. Sparks Thomas says you are bringing the heat. You guys are both bringing the heat. <laughs> Absolutely both bringing the heat. All right, Steve. Well, let's uh, let's finish the heat, right? My right, modern, right. I mean, my name is Sith Lordly, so you know I got to come with a Star Wars book. Ah. So this is a, uh, a recent acquisition, this 9.8. But I'm Mr. Star Wars, and, you know, I just had to get this one because I also got this one, right? And so th this is this was like my PC personal copy that I bought back in the day. I've got just about every single Star Wars issue from Dark Horse and the previous Marvel. But, you know, I just wanted to be sure and just have them both. You know what I mean? So I'm all in on this book. Ahsoka Tano, we don't have to say anymore, man. She's going to be huge. Yep. She's already huge. 
so I, I'm I just. Got a, I got a question for you. I can't yeah. see the barcodes. Are those direct or newsstands? Uh, these are. They're not newsstand. So yeah, they're. Uh, they're. Di- they're direct. Yeah, direct. Okay. Would mm, be nice, so but you know. Yeah. I got my bad boy right here. Uh, look at that. Yes, oh, yes. Look at that. We're having a Soka Tano party. There we go. <laughs> yeah. New, new, this is a newsstand. Damn. Um, and it, it it's got a couple of uh of spine ticks right here. But other than that, it's pretty clean. Uh, the 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 very interesting thing is that this book, in general, for those that don't know, is already it rare and has a low print run. Um, I mean, it's it's hard to find the, the directs in high grade anywhere on the yeah. market, you know. And we know those nine point eights have been hitting, you, you know, well over a thousand dollars. I know. But the the newsstand, it's what's really interesting about the newsstand is it wasn't mass distributed it was mostly marketed to like your uh, borders and and barnes and nobles so mm. where they would sit on like the magazine shelves and get mm. read through and whatnot yeah exactly. so the high grades and those i've been thinking about possibly selling this i think this is definitely at least a, a very fine near to near mint nice. and i saw like a a 4.0 maybe 4.5 at best sell for almost 800 dollars a couple weeks back wow new stand, new stand. so i'm like I don't even know because there's there's no there's no really high grades to yeah base yeah. what the fair market value would be. It's crazy. Wait wait till she pops in, man. That thing is gonna you know go up even more. I'm gonna shoot through the roof. Oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah, no doubt. And she's gonna be. I mean, people are gonna love her. Like even uh-huh. people who don't in the mainstream that are not familiar with the you know the 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 the, the, the animated series oh, or what have you. Yeah, yeah. She is just gonna. Especially with Rosario Dawson playing her, right? Yeah, you're yep. not gonna waste Rosario Dawson for one episode. I mean, right. she's gonna be in whether it be, be the Mandalorian or other other spinoffs. It's it's super exciting. That book is gonna be insane. What do you got, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> That's as close as I can get to it right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's working towards it, a path to a key. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I just want. Oh wait, no! Now I we got the pop off. <laughs> I just want to show you. I'm kind of in your guys' club. I have a I have a New Mutants nine. Nice. Oh, nice. Nine point nice. eight. Granted, the nice. CBC has, but I yes. feel okay now, guys. Still good. Hey, I fellas, mean, how was that for Spine Ticks All In? Yeah, a- we beautiful, absolutely. Beautiful. But, <laughs> listen, you guys absolutely crushed. This is the best All In we've ever done. <laughs> hey, Eric and Steve, appreciate it. Crush this. You guys can start your own freaking. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you you can sell those and start your own. Law firm. I don't know why. You <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Lord Lee and Tiger. Your law school. Your law school. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. thank you so I, much for joining I, us for I, all in. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, I, I, I wanted to say once again too. I really, I really love the uh, the X Men theme. Outside of even Deadpool, nice. you know, uh, I, I I really uh, uh, love the focus. Um, I recently, I mean, I'm not, I'm nowhere near. I don't have a, a Hulk 181 uh giant size or uh, a one or a four but uh i've been picking up some like i got the first appearance of polaris and first appearance of a uh, uh, uh havoc uh, no, yeah. no 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 banshee mm-hmm. recently yeah so uh i'm you, you know for for those watching man i mean it, now is the time if, if yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. even those smaller key, x-men keys you know if you got some money to invest even if they're more mid-grade books you don't got to always search for the high grades especially the silver age man and both of those have no grade both of those covers right. are sick, by the way. You know, that Starenko yep. cover for Polaris. Yep. And then that Banshee cover with the red in the background, you know, it, yep. it just pops. Yeah. Those, those are the ones you're going to want to, the, kind of the secondary characters. You're going to want to start searching for those because you know Feige's going to want his put, put oh, yeah. his own handprint on, not maybe his, but AMCU's own handprint yeah. on the X-Men. They're not going to want to bring in the same exact kind mm-hmm. of characters back, or, you know, at, at the get-go, right? They're going to slowly, it's going to be a slow build as they always do. Yeah. So Sunfire. Characters we haven't seen on the screen yeah. is the way to go. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. That has been our all in. We really appreciate Eric and Steve for joining us from Spine Ticks. Follow Spine Ticks down below, right? Their, their channel is down below. You guys have to watch them. You have to follow them. Also follow them on Instagram. Uh, you guys are throwing crazy heat on your. I mean, <laughs> your your Star Wars books are out of, out of this world. So I try, man. I try. It, it, it's entertaining in itself. 